paint can family it is believe it or not october 22nd it's 70 degrees outside yes i've got a lot of work to do around the house but sadly it's not going to get done let's go for a ride. <laughs> So I had to take a, a quick stop as we start on our ride you can see the bike running over there by the gate my day job run propane got two different trailers one tractor here the one tractor i usually run <clears throat> is down right now getting some repairs done but the job that i truly love to do is one of my bibles i'm also a pastor if you don't know that and uh, it's saturday so thinking about the message tomorrow and uh where i'm i'm going with it and what i'm doing with it and uh this particular Bible that I carry with me in the truck has a bunch of notes in it that I've written on the topic that I want to actually discuss tomorrow. So if that's something you're interested in, if you are a believer, um, you can go on Facebook to SECC Pastor and you can actually catch that message. And all the Sunday morning messages that I do are on there. If you're just into the motorcycle content, that's okay too. But, like I've said before, this channel is more about me than it is just the motorcycles. So, like I've said in, in uh, past couple videos, foliage lasted a long time this year. Strangely enough, there's still some green. I really don't understand that, but pretty much everything has turned brown three bikes back there at the bar maybe this is the pastor part coming out in me but this might be the last time you get a chance to take a ride here in central New York today and tomorrow it's supposed to be beautiful upper 60s lower 70s and then it's supposed to cool back off again and generally by now we got snow in the forecast so I don't know why we're, we're going off for a ride and wasting wasting a precious riding time bellied up to a bar but I guess that's their choice they can do what they want there instead of getting out here and enjoying the riding while we still have it left so I guess that's part of what I want to talk about today honestly is just the the aspect of riding in New York we have a lot of people that are fair weather riders we have a lot of people like myself that i'll ride in bad weather during the summer but once the salt hits the road i'm not going to rust everything out on my bike the salt is just terribly corrosive people can say they they wash it good when they get home if you've got a heated garage well maybe but i'll bet you can't getting all the nooks and crannies that, that salt water got into or the salt dust if it's a perfectly dry day either way there's just no way to, to get around the damage that it does all the electrical connections all that if you're going to trade your bike every couple of years that yeah, whatever whatever it's going to make to you really it's the next guy's problem but once the, the salt hits the roads I'm done until we get enough rain in the spring to clean the roads back off. Warm weather means nothing to me in the spring. It can be 80 degrees, beautiful sun, shiny day, and I still won't ride if the roads have salt on them. But even though things are turning brown, we can still, still see God's beauty. Even the contrast between the pine trees, the trees that have lost their leaves some that are still green so depending on where you go you still got a little bit of color a little bit right here in this section 
few different places along the, the top of this hill. There's some great views, but let's face it, right now the, the view is brown, leafless trees, and cornfield stubble. Not a lot of real good views right now from up here, but I don't know, it's still very enjoyable because if nothing else, depending on where you live, if you're in a place that you lose your leaves during the winter or in the fall, whatever the time frame would be for you, the smells are just absolutely magnificent. You just can't get around the as awesome as the, the, the dried leaves smell in uh, just all the senses you get from being out here on the road. We come up to this intersection here. I mean, again, the, the maple trees that are the first to turn, somehow, for whatever reason this year, they don't seem to be. A lot of them are sticking around and, and giving us a lot of color still. you can see it on the camera but we must be amongst the rich people we are on Wall Street huh I didn't realize all the rich people on Wall Street lived out here in the farmland guess you learn something new every day interesting all right so now we're gonna go down through a road that is I don't know infamous famous whatever in my area Kind of stinks that there's a speed limit on it, but the Ilian Gorge is kind of like our our own little tail of the dragon here in the central part of New York. It weaves back and forth and back and forth down this gorge. I don't know, maybe five or six miles, something like that. A lot of bikes up and down it, a lot of cars up and down it all summer, rail in the corners. Not a lot of accidents because, yeah, the, the men and women in blue, they tend to hang out on this road on nice days and they enforce the speed limit, so kind of difficult to get too stupid on it unless you're in a group that's got radios or you know, something on that idea. A few years ago they did a bunch of paving on it because it was rough. It was all tar snaked up. You couldn't you couldn't hardly ride it. You go into a corner your bike would just want to wobble and slide and take off on all the tar snakes. But they had some flooding of the stream that goes down through and it really messed the road up in a bunch of places. So they had to rebuild it in just bad enough condition it was in anyway. Being a state road, they had to do something about it. So they ended up repaving it. Now it's nice and smooth, as well as the twisty. But one of the nicer things I like about it is it's not wide open. I mean, you got trees right there on both sides. You got, I mean, look how far up it is. It's just totally awesome, the view while you're on it.
people have a tendency to file off a little bit of their floorboard or peg on a lot of the corners. I am not immune from that. I have a definite tendency to push the corners a little harder than what maybe the bike was designed for, but that's okay. But I mean, come on, this is absolutely gorgeous. The red clay that developed into the really fine shale over here on the left, you can't see around the corner, Just it's just totally awesome. Ah, sign I love. Twisties, next two and a half miles. somewhat protected by the valley that we're in. good enough for another postcard I mean seriously if you live in a more beautiful area please drop some pictures below this video send me a direct message or whatever with some pictures I would love to see some pictures if you live in an area that you would consider to be more beautiful than this because honestly I'd like to visit So I'm back in the house now. just wanted to wrap the video up here out in my office. Going to put together a message for tomorrow in church, like I uh, said to start this video off. And uh, just want to thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, if you have. And uh, till next time, we'll catch you later.